winter season is here, but the Faith Seventh-day Adventist Church family is experiencing the warmth of God's love every time we enter the doors of this beautiful sanctuary. A pleasant Sabbath is extended to everyone and a cordial welcome to our visiting friends. We are so pleased that you chose to worship with us today and we hope that you will come again. Last Sabbath, Dr. Patrick Vincent unfolded powerful principles on how to get involved with the evangelistic activities and initiatives of this church. The words go, weep, sow, and reap are the marching orders for us for the year 2024. Members are reminded to fill out the cards with the caption, my seven for heaven and place it in the prayer box which will be in front of the pulpit today you are asked to choose a prayer partner so that this week you can pray for the individuals on your card our first board meeting was held last sunday morning and the new year brought with it a high level of excitement department heads came to the meeting prepared to share their vision, goals, objectives, and to present their budgets. New board members received orientation and time was set aside for comments and questions. The plans and budgets projected by the department heads will be compiled as a booklet and shared with the membership. Please pray for our elected leaders that God will bless them with good success as they serve this great church. On Monday evening, our church hosted its first evening with the experts, and it was an awesome sitting. Dr. Renisha Nichols from the Refresh Restart Institute did a masterful job educating those present about grief. The time together was refreshing, and at the end of the program, there was a call to establish an official grief ministry for the faith church and our community. Plans are on the way for the group to meet next month. Every Wednesday evening at 7 p.m., something special happens here at the faith church. There is a wonderful service upstairs in the main sanctuary for adults and an amazing learning experience in the Founders Hall for children. So don't miss the upcoming midweek service this Wednesday. And if you cannot join us in person, tune in via Zoom. And the last Sabbath of every month is going to be a significant time for our members. The Community Services Department will be recognizing birthday celebrants. So beginning this Sabbath, all January born are asked to assemble in the Founders Hall after church for your birthday cake celebration. Next Sabbath, February 3rd, all roads lead to the Faith Church on Woodland Street for our community guest day. We are anticipating lots of visitors, including community leaders, clergymen, business owners, and representatives from City Hall. We will also use the opportunity to showcase some of the programs and active ministries at Faith. We say a big thank you in advance to our members who have already invited family, friends, neighbors, and co-workers to share in this day. There will be a special training this afternoon for all ushers. And before this meeting, lunch will be provided in the conference room. The event is sponsored by the Ushers Federation of the Northeastern Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. This weekend, our pastor is in New York at Camp Victory Lake, presenting on the power of vision. Let us pray for Pastor Stirrup as he continues to contribute toward the growth and development of the wider membership 
of the Northeastern Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Today, there's a preacher in the house. Elder Everell Brown is ready to present the Word of God. We know that our Heavenly Father has given him a special message for us, and we wait with anticipation to receive it. Our prayer is that Jesus will be lifted up as Elder Brown shares what God has placed on his heart. Thank you for paying attention to today's announcements. For additional information on the amazing things that are happening at Faith, please read our e-bulletin, which can be found at Linktree at Faith SDA. And to share your announcements with us, email them to faithannouncements at hotmail.com. May God bless you as we worship together on this beautiful Sabbath day.